feel like everything I've ever been told is a lie. <laughs> literally 5 a.m. on Saturday morning. I woke up like this, literally. <laughs> Just rolled out of bed. Today is the Arnold Classic. My girlfriend Melissa is a first degree brown belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. She's competing today. Adults compete today. My son is competing tomorrow. I think Melissa has like three fights today. My son tomorrow has eight. Last year he had like two fights, the year before that he had like three, and this year he has eight fights. I'm gonna be there for a long time. Really, 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 really excited. I haven't seen Melissa compete in a while and it's literally been a year since my son's competed. So I'm so excited. I'm vlogging this weekend and a lot of it is gonna be at the Arnold, but it's also my friend Sam's birthday party. Bobo. So we are going to have like she has always throws the like best events. She's doing like this party bus with a bunch of friends and going to the most like um photographic places in Columbus and has a photographer so we're all gonna take pictures we're going on a party bus then we're going to Sam Hunt and Oh my gosh, Cindy would be so mad at me if I forgot who this guy is because it's literally her favorite. Oh darn. I'm new to liking country, okay? Within the last like couple years, I've always been a hip hop rap girly. I also really love alternative, but I've been enjoying country music the past couple years and I'm really excited i've seen morgan wallen a couple times went to tortuga festival seeing luke combs in august so i really am becoming a little country girly also i learned to line dance if you follow my tiktok i know how to line dance too so check that off my country list also i got a truck i got so many comments from people that my truck is not a truck because it's a jeep I am shook. Like, I just thought a truck was something that had a bed, okay? I am being told that it's not at all a truck. It's a Jeep with a bed. I don't know. I feel like everything I've ever been told is a lie. Apparently, I don't have a truck. I have a Jeep. I It's a Jeep truck. It holds stuff in the back. And also, I feel like... I should get one of those shirts that says, yes, I have a truck. No, I won't help you move. When I first saw sh that shirt, I was rolling on the floor laughing. Like, it was so funny. Yesterday, the start of my weekend was so fun. Kelly and I went to Town Hall, which is one of the hottest restaurants here in Columbus. It is all organic. Their food is like, it's grass-fed beef, wild um, caught seafood. It is uh, clean cooking oils, which is really, really, really hard to find in a restaurant. No refined sugars. They have, with everything being 100% organic, like it just, feel, it's like feel good food. And we went there yesterday. They had a whole menu specifically for the Arnold. We got some sushi because their sushi is like the best sushi. The fish is so good. It, it literally, I was trying to eat every little piece that was on my plate. It was so good. I also got this Wagyu steak, which was so, so delicious. It literally melted in my mouth um, with like sweet potatoes and Brussels sprouts, it was so good. And then Kelly got the steak bites and they are grass fed beef steak bites. And it had like pineapple and sushi rice. She loved it. And then they were featuring a protein shake that is made with a protein powder that's local here in Columbus. It is called, a company called Meta, and I was so excited to try it, and it was so good. I drank every bit of it. It was absolutely delicious. So I'm really excited to see what today holds. 
I'm a little nervous because Melissa's fighting and she's competing and whenever I watch her fight it gives me the most anxiety ever and also she goes into fight mode bro like for the last few days I, dare I say week she goes into fight mode and it's like um mm, she's it's it's definitely interesting I love her so much she's usually so like in tune with me and my feelings and like we're just like right here but when she's in fight mode she's like kind of got a bite to her you can't be so sensitive around melissa when she's in fight mode bro but i'm excited to watch her fight she's really good she's really really talented talented and also i feel like i have a little bodyguard with me at all times because she could beat you up so it feels good to know like I can be as crazy as I want to be. Not that I ever would be, but I can be as crazy if I, as I want to be because I know Melissa got me. She's got me. It's going to be a really good day. I'm so excited. But girly, I'm going to be tired. I'm gonna see how this goes. Try and record a little while I drive. You know, eyes on the road. I highly doubt that this is going to work because I don't have anything like sticky. Let's see. 10 out of 10! The Jeep truck. There's like this little thing here. This little hole. It works perfect. Okay, so that way I can kind of multitask here because I gotta get back to the house. The Arnold went really, really well. I'm so proud of Melissa. She choked some ladies. She choked them. They were down and out. No, actually she didn't choke them. Um, she paintbrushed them, which is like an arm thing from what I'm learning. I don't know a lot about jujitsu, but I'm trying my best. You know, I'm trying to be a supportive girlfriend. The Arnold went really, really well. Melissa took home gold and I got to wear her gold medal, which was so, it felt so like empowering. Even though I didn't do anything but just like cheer her on. Those that she went up against were both brown belt. She is in the 135 weight division and there was no brown belt 135 women so she had to go up a weight class and did the 145 these girls were bigger than her and she tossed them around like it was nothing i was in awe of my girly tonight is my friend sam's birthday so i just got ready i'll show i'll show the fit later but you know got the flannel on we're taking a bus like a party bus around columbus to take some pictures with a photographer and then we're going to the sam hunt and zach bryan concert like i told you guys earlier i couldn't figure out who the person was it's zach bryan don't tell Cindy that I couldn't remember who it was because she will be like, why are you even going then? <laughs> Just kidding. She knows I'm new to the country life. It's going to be a bunch of like Sam and Cindy's friends. Cindy's my best friend. We work together. She's literally my right hand man. I don't know how I would do life without her and she actually moved to Columbus from Connecticut and her best friend that she had since high school Sam lives here in Columbus so Cindy moved here for Sam and now they've just kind of like invited me into their little friend group Melissa however cannot go so I think everybody's gonna have a plus one but me and Cindy and I have always been like the single girlies like we've always been each other's plus one so 
I'm gonna be the third wheel today, but I already know Cindy would never let me feel like a third wheel. We are very close. She is one of my favorite humans ever. So I'm not too worried about that. Melissa couldn't go because she had the Arnold today and then she's coaching tomorrow. So she really just wants to rest. It took a lot of adrenaline to do what she did today. So she's exhausted. She's ready to be all done. Um, and I'm gonna be out and about and I need to like get it together because I'm gonna be cheering on, I need to get in mom mode tomorrow because Kaden is fighting in eight matches. Eight. I already know, he's gonna do great. I mean, just getting there is, and like participating is the biggest obstacle because the amount of anxiety that it takes to go in and fight a bunch of strangers in front of a bunch of other people <laughs> wouldn't be me. Would not be me, for sure. You would not see me doing that ever in a million years. I'm super excited for tonight, and I'm gonna try and get some rest and be in mom mode tomorrow. Oh, I did wanna tell you guys, I did just go to Kroger because Cindy and I both love charcuterie boards. It's our favorite, 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 favorite. And Melissa likes to pack me little lunches and she put our favorite cheese in my lunchbox for my professional development day. And I let Cindy try my cheese and she's like, oh my God, it was so delicious. She got a different cheese that she's hoping is like the cheese that is Melissa and my favorite. And it's not gonna be the same. This one like literally will melt in your mouth it's not going to be the same as Aldi's white cheddar. I mean, Aldi's white cheddar is definitely delicious, but it is no, let me show you while I'm at a stoplight. High Plains. It is called Murray's High Plains Cheddar. This stuff is so delicious. Murray's cheese, you guys need to look them up. It is so good. And then I got our Crunchmaster crackers, gluten-free, the best crackers for a charcuterie board. And you can't tell me anything else. Like, that's all I need. I haven't eaten much at all today. Actually, I haven't eaten at all, but a protein shake and a Lani New at the Arnold. So I'm ready to eat some charcuterie. All right, get your camera out. This is the real photo. Let's go for it. Hold on, I'm recording. I'm recording it, and then you have to freeze so that I can then take a picture. Oh. Omg. Hold on, my girlfriend's texting me. We send each other songs. <laughs> I love her so much. We send each other songs and I sent her the song Sleep Without You by Brett Young. And she was like, I almost sent you this song on Saturday because Saturday night I was with my friend Sam celebrating her birthday 
and at the Brett Young and Sam Hunt concert. And I was so sad because I didn't get home until really late and she waited up for me. I really wanted her to be there with me, but she had the Arnold and then she had to coach all day on Sunday. And I was there all day on Sunday because she was there all day and Caden was competing. So he did, I'm so incredibly proud of Caden. He did so well at the Arnold. There were seven people in his division and he got fourth place. He made it into the elimination round and it was a lot. Like the very first fight that he had, he hurt his back and he still kept going and he fought five fights. Like that's wild to me. He pushed so hard and he really, really, really worked. So I'm so proud of him. The day was so long. He did end up pulling out of Nogi. So he was gonna have a total of eight fights, but then ended up in the elimination round. And I wondered too, if there was gonna be another elimination round, if he would have made it through in Nogi because there were so many kids fighting. It would have been a lot of fights. He had a really long day, but he is ready to train and tr get at another competition and try again. I'm just so, so incredibly proud of him, but it was a long weekend and there was not a lot of rest time. But now I'm going to zoom off to work and have a crazy busy week, but weekends like this really make me appreciate the people that I have in my life, time with my children, time with Melissa. It, It's so, I just feel so incredibly blessed and grateful. And my cup is definitely full. Even though I'm exhausted, my cup is so, so full. So that's it for this week, you guys. Have a great, what is it? It's night for me, but have a great rest of your day. I love you guys. See you next week.